Alright, you box breakers and pack rippers, welcome back to another episode. Today we have for you, looks like, Topps Total Baseball Cards 2005. You might be asking yourself, why did you randomly pick a year from the mid-2000s? Well, I'll tell you, Joe at the card shop had these sitting on his counter forever. And I said, Joe, why don't you sell me something that I can rip open that you've been having to sit around forever and uh, give me a deal on it and I'll, I'll break them open for you. Anyway, not that he needs me to do it for him, but he gave us a deal on these. So they were listed at a dollar, one buck, and I think he gave them to us for 50 cents a pack. So um, I don't know what's in here, but probably not much if they're a, a dollar. I just don't understand why he has them sitting on his countertop for the last 13 years or whatever, if that's what it is. Anyway, big thank you to Joe at the card shop. If you're ever in Phoenix, stop by and see him. Here's their card. They are at Arizona Trading Card and Collectibles on Osborne and 24th Street in Phoenix, Arizona. You can check them out on Facebook. You can give them a call. Stop in and see them. They can help you get your autographs certified. If that's something that that you you have or into, uh, they will buy older baseball cards like 50s, 60s, some 70s. Just depends what it is and the condition, of course. Uh, but they also do non-sports stuff like Magic: The Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Pokemon, uh, Dragon Ball Z, and then they do bobbleheads and uh, stuff like that as well. So anyway, check them out on Facebook, and thanks for your support to our channel here. Thanks for all the subscribers and all the likes and comments. Sure appreciate that. That helps us out. Um, if you are interested in opening these packs on your own, we'll put a link below so that you can follow that, uh, our affiliate link, and that will help us out. If you click on that and do any of your shopping right through that link, that'll help us out. So, again, thanks for all the support. Uh, let's see how many packs we've got here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. All right, let's take a quick look at them and just see if there's any that might appear fatter than any of the other ones. If you haven't seen our video on fat pack theory, you should go check that out. We do have we do have the pack that we bought the other day from Joe at the card shop right here and it was it was fatter than all the rest. And the reason why was because of this game used jersey card that I pulled uh, with a number on it. Number zero, zero, six, sixty of 150. And so anyway, we did a bunch of dollar store packs live from the, the card shop with Joe yesterday. And we didn't pull a single game used jersey or an auto or anything out of I don't know how many packs we opened from the dollar store so if you haven't seen those videos either go back and check those out our dollar store videos anyway uh, that's the fat pack theory on Donruss 2008 football 18 excuse me and I'm pretty sure we've proved it so you can go to your local target or card shop or whatever and if they don't mind you can look at their box uh, cards and you can go through them all and pick out the fat ones so anyway let's go ahead and get this going here 12 packs we should be able to make it no problem just depends what we're going to get here if we get a bunch of good cards it might take a little a little longer we've got our sleeves ready we've got some sleeves pre-cut like joe taught us help save our corners. We're on the lookout for PSA 10 uh, grade worthy cards. We'll go through some grading tips for you in this video as well just to give you some idea how to 
how to grade. If, if you're looking for that information, you may already know and be an expert, but some people out there still need help. They, they think just because they pulled it from a pack that that automatically equals PSA 10. Let's get our, get our stage out here. All right. know who this guy is. Don't like that shadow either. Hmm. Alright. Hopefully you can see that good. Well, whatever the right word is. Alright, Miguel Ojeda. So I didn't really watch baseball during the mid-2000s, so... Uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see how we do. Okay, I don't think that's supposed to be on that guy's shirt. Maybe it is. I don't think it is, though. Take a look at that. Uh, Ed Bassmaster. Take a look at it. Anyway, this... I would have to look up other cards, but yeah, I think the, these specs go all over the card, so there's something up with the surface. So here's an example of uh, grading on the surface, where the corners all look really good. The centering looks really good. Everything looks really good. There's no weird printing errors like we've seen in some of our older cards, but um, you can see all these specks all over his shirt. I think you can see that. Anyway, that's, that's how you know it's not a 10. <laughs> Just that easy. We do pretty much binary grading. And if it's got any one thing wrong with it, it's out. All right, so here's Buck Showalter. <laughs> Looks like it's got that crud all over him, too. Hang on, let me see. Joe said to use your shirt if you have to clean the surface. Don't use your finger. And then brush away from the center outward. Let's see if we can get this Buck Showalter card cleaned up here. Yeah. That actually helped a little bit. Didn't get them all. I don't know if it's the hologram or what, but it's trying to, stuff's trying to stick on there. Anyway, there's Buck Walter. He used to be the manager for the Yankees, then he went to the Diamondbacks. It looks like now he's at Texas in this 2005 anyway, uh, but that's a cool card. We'll put that one in the sleeve. I don't know what the silver border is, if that's some variant, uh, but these all look like pretty much junk. There's Kerry Wood, nothing nothing really special on that. I'm sure this uh, I'm sure this sweepstakes has long ended. So we won't be showing those. Yeah, game ends <laughs> May 31st, 2005. Game ends. So just missed it. Just barely missed it. Too bad. All right. I'll just put Kerry Wood and a sleeve here and Buck Walter okay this sleeve is not pre-cut which is why it's having a little harder time going in so I'll show you the difference so that last one is regular and now this one you can see just has this little we just cut this just a little bit right there just enough so that you can slide it right in there no problem and then just be careful going down there you go Buck show Walter alright next pack Michael Ryan. I wonder if that's Nolan Ryan's kid. Miguel Cairo. Javier Vasquez. Not sure if I've heard of any of these guys. Don't know what the silver variant is. Um, don't know those guys from the Brewers. If you're a Brewers fan and you want this card, let us hear about it. We'll do a free giveaway. 
Uh, if you're a White Sox and you know who Ryan Sweeney or Brian Miller are and you want this card, let us know. We'll send that out. We'll send the Joe Garland out with you with it. Free giveaway. Uh, any Kansas City Royals fans out there? Let us know. We don't mind doing free giveaways on pretty much any card that you like that aren't on our list that aren't going to be a 10. We're pretty much only chasing 10s. Alright, what is this thing? Total baseball card game. Oh, cool. They tried to come up with a a game based on uh, based on these cards because like on the back they've got all these colors and stats and whatever I've been I've been telling Joe and Abe at the card shop I'm like there should be some way I'm surprised I didn't come up with something when I was a kid to take baseball cards and make them kind of like magic and Yu-Gi-Oh uh, like those those type of card games like I feel like you should be able to take your old baseball cards and use them in the same way, you know, like like Nolan Ryan strikes out Eric Davis, you know, or some some lower level person gets beat out by the the Hall of Famer, or you know, come up with a system to where there would be a game to play, and apparently Topps did that <laughs> in 2005, and it must not have caught on because I've never heard about it. All right. Next pack here. There's one for our Pirates fan. Try to get the lighting good, nice and nice and bright for you. Jose Vizcaino. I think I've heard of him. Probably. These cards just kind of look like junk. Uh, Here's one for a Yankees fan, Tom Gordon and Paul Quantrill, Jeff Mathis and Irving Santana for the Angels. Yeah, I just don't know any of these guys. I've heard of Barry Zito, I think. I've heard of Larry Walker. I'm not sure if Larry Walker is going to get in the Hall of Fame. Or maybe he would have already been in by now. Orioles, no idea. Here's another shiny card, Albert Pujols. So these must be the insert cards. Let's see here. Total tops, Albert Pujols. We'll put that in a sleeve and take a closer look here in just a second. There's Adam Wainwright. I've heard of him and Cal Eldred. I think those are old old players. Uh, we can put a sleeve on them, I guess. Ryan Dempster. I think I've heard of him just because of our Cubbies fan. Um, don't know any of those guys. Junk, junk. Alright, so here's the regular sleeve. Sometimes you can get the regular sleeves to go right in, no problem. And it's usually on the cards you don't really care about because you're not you're not really trying anything special. So there's that one. Uh, we'll put them we'll put them back here. Oops. Yeah, he's pretty much out of the picture at this point. <laughs> Alright. And then the Cardinal guys. Pretty cool. We're just going to set them off here in our pile of good cards. Alright, and now this one, we'll, we'll go ahead and use a pre-cut sleeve, since we already have some ready here. Um, let's see if we can get the surface cleaned up like we did on that other one. I don't know why this material attracts dust and things. Okay, so here's another, here's another grading example. 
Alright, you can see on the on the bottom there, when the light gets close to the edge, see how it like ramps up and catches that light? Well, if this was a if this was a 10, it wouldn't have that. So unfortunately for us, as much as we want this to be a good card, that little that little thing right there on the bottom is going to exclude us or should exclude us from being a 10. Now, we can still send it in and it still may get a 10. I may be wrong, but just looking at it, I mean, all four corners look really really sharp, really good. This one in the lower right kind of has one weird thing, but definitely this spot on the bottom. Uh, and actually now that I'm looking, the lower left, let's see if we can... Yep, you can see it in the light right there. See how it starts to to catch and ramp off of that? And then you can see it in the middle as well. Anyway, those things should not be there. That's just the front. You know, the back looks really really pretty good uh, and then now that I say that too in the upper left see if we can get this to show up see those two little specks up there on the top of the edge just those two little things anyway that means it's not a 10 at least by our standards so we won't even waste our time having Joe review it at the shop we won't waste our time or money centered it in to get PSA certified because we know that should not be a 10. So, still a cool card. Cheap packs, so no big deal. Not expecting a whole lot out of this. I just wanted to rip some packs real quick and see what was in 2005 Tops. <laughs> it says Tops exclusive spokesman, Alex Rodriguez. So, I wonder if he's got some, some cards in here. Don't know any of these guys. Benito Santiago, I've heard of at least. There's Mike Stanton and Steve Garcay. I don't think these are rookie cards. I think these are just regular cards. Not sure. Benito. I guess we'll put Benito in a in a sleeve. Uh, I don't know what's up with the silver border. It just must be the the better the better one to have the variant there's Matt Holiday for to him and so here's another grading tip for you um, you can look at the centering all the way around the edges and this one looks very centered probably perfectly centered maybe just off left to right just a little bit it's kinda hard to tell sometimes especially on like this one where the color fades down and fades up it kinda plays tricks with your eyes so a lot of times what I'll do for a, for a tip is cover up all of that and just look at the white edges. And so when you do that, you can start to see the amount of space between the white up here, the white down here, and you can kind of see that even though it looks a little bit off when you do the same thing on this side, well, it's really hard to tell there because of all the white space of it fading. So anyway, it looks really centered could be perfect. You can look on the back as well. So now you can measure from here to here and you can see that that side is off just a little bit left to right. So anyway, too bad on Matt Holiday. We're just going to unless we get a good good card, we won't we won't stop to put it in the sleeve right now, but I'll put those in the sleeve as soon as we're done with the video. That's what we like to do is keep our cards protected with penny sleeves. Uh, we'll put a link below so that you can go on Amazon or wherever and purchase those through our affiliate link and help our channel out. I always appreciate that. And any likes or comments or sub subscriptions, always appreciated. Leave us a comment. We'll, uh, we'll sub you back. We don't mind helping those who help us. We grow together. Wow, kind of junk, junky, kind of junky. 50 cents a pack though, 
I mean, that's cheaper than you can get at the dollar store. Like I said in our last videos, we opened all those packs from the dollar store, and we even got those at a discount. And if we would have had to pay full price for that, I would have been very disappointed. You only get four, five, or six cards per pack, depending what you're, what you're buying, and <laughs> we didn't. I didn't see anything. I really like. There's Hideo Nomo. Had his rookie card. Alex Rodriguez with the silver border. This is going to be a good example too. We'll we'll look at that in just a second, a little bit closer. Uh, we're going to show you the edges. So we've talked about the surface. Uh, we've talked about the corners and some edges, but we're going to talk more about chipping and edges as well, just to give you some more ideas on, on grading. There's Mike Piazza and Todd Helton. And this one's looking a little bit off center on Piazza. You can see there's just not very much white there and there's more white there. I can, I'm, can be pretty confident with that one that it's probably off center on Mike Piazza, but that's okay. And then Todd Helton, I think he's a potential Hall of Famer. Alright, so on this Alex Rodriguez card, uh, we did a video on, I think it was 1990 or 91 hoops, NBA hoops, and they have a silver border just like this. And so what makes this difficult um, to receive a 10 is that that gray picks up every little chip much more than the, the white um, border will and so anyway you can just run your eye right along the edge there and you can use the light to try to help you but you'll start to see on this one right here that kinda all along the edge here kinda on the bottom maybe even the corner there anyway even though the surface looks pretty good uh, I just, I don't know that I would send this in just because it kind of looks like there may be some issues over there on the right side. Not 100%, and they're not really showing up on the light, but anyway, when they grade for the PSA, they use a magnifying glass with a 10x multiplier, so um, we have, uh, it's over there, no reason to grab it right now, but we have a 10x multiplier and so we would be able to pull that out and we could probably see what our eye is able to pick up from here much more under the microscope so anyway we're gonna just count that one as not a PSA 10 submission we're not even gonna have Joe look at it and confirm what we already believe because it's just not worth his time to have to take a look at it but there's a rod in the gray gray variant I guess is what that is I'm not sure so that's pretty cool all right, we have one, two, three, four. We have five packs, and we have six minutes. So let's see if we can hustle through here. Just going to depend what we get. All right, here's a checklist. We collect checklists. Looks like there's a total signature, Zach Granke, down there on the bottom. That's cool. Oh, lots of autographs. So anyway, award winners, those will be some cards we should be looking out for. So, checklist. Edgar Renterina, refer to him. Don't know those guys. Don't know Eric Milton. Don't know Timo. Don't know Brad. There's Johnny Damon. We just got a PSA 10, uh... 1992 classic pre-rookie card for Johnny Damon and what'd we get? Chipper Jones? Yeah, we got Chipper Jones. We got outbid on the Derek Jeter. There's Mike Messina. Good pitcher from back in the day. Alright, four packs left. Four minutes. Let's see what we can do here. Craig Council, I remember him from the Diamondbacks. Carlos Beltran, he's a he's a big name. 
All right, Bobby Crosby with the silver border. Don't know him. Whoa, look at this dude. Somebody, so who let their dad? This is bring your dad to the ballpark day? Hang on, wait for this to focus. Focus. Take a look at this guy. Yeah, look at that mustache. From 2005? No. We know from the 80s that people used to rock those mustaches, but who is this guy, Matt Stairs? He looks like he's like 60 years old. Sorry, Matt. Uh, I guess they stopped putting birth dates on the back of baseball cards, which I never understood why they did, but wow. All right. Uh, now we got a. There's Justin Verlander, first year card. That's cool. Definitely put a sleeve on that one. Uh, three packs, three minutes. Here we go. The race is on. Can we do it? Oh. <laughs> this pack is holding us up. Congratulations, you are due to receive a certified total baseball signature autograph card. Uh, see back for instruction. Expiration 53107. That's too bad. Too, too bad. Pedro Martinez with the silver border. That's cool. Let's check this out real quick. Uh, see this right here on the side. You can clearly see this get the light right yep right over there straight across from his ear you can see that and so that's not a 10 but we'll still put a sleeve on him in here in just a second we gotta try to get through this uh, man too bad on the autograph card we missed our missed our opportunity by about 11 12 years Greg Maddox, Hall of Famer. Jose Guillen at the Silver. Um, don't know them. Kurt Schilling, we know him. Not personally, but we know of him. We've heard of him. Alright, last pack. One minute. Are we going to be able to make it? Not sure what those guys are doing. Another checklist. Brandon Clausen. I don't think I've heard of him. Pokey Reese, I feel like I've heard of him. Adrian Beltre. We'll put him in our sleeve pile. There's some Cubbies. Uh, don't know either of them, but that, that'll go to our Cubs fan. And then Eduardo Perez for the Rays. All right, so we made it through. Uh, we got just a second, so we'll take a quick look at some of our highlights. We had the Buck Show Walter total award winner. So that's an insert, AW29. Uh, we had Albert Pujols, total tops. Uh, that's card number TTAP for Pujols. Then we had Kerry Wood. A-Rod in the silver, Ryan Dempster, and we also had uh, Greg Maddox, but we're going to run out of time. So, Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, look for new content daily.